and welcome back. I've got a guest. Hi. Yay. It's Ruth Crilly of A Model Recommend and she's in my house. My tiny little humble house. She's threatening she's to do lying. a room tour. She says, oh, it's really tiny. It's an absolute mansion. She's just trying to play it down for YouTube so that you don't hate on her. <laughs> she doesn't want to get trolled. It's, it's like, it's it's like it's bloody... Um, it's a little... What's it? Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. It's a tiny little terraced house at the back end of West London. And also, can I just say, have you noticed anything missing from here? She's just said to me, get rid of that mirror. It's ruining your lighting. And she's right. She went, Jeeves. <laughs> Jeeves. Can I take down that mirror? I've told you once. I've told you once. I've told you twice. Yes. Um, are, you sure my, are you sure that my hair is not making me look like a little sort of round-headed No, troll? what makes you look like a little round-headed troll is sat next to this great big huge-headed troll. I might need to part it a bit more central. I'm sure this is riveting for your audience, Nadine. I think your hair looks really nice long. Anyway. How is that? Is that better? I mean, you, and you don't really have a bad angle, do you? I don't know why I'm friends with her. This? <laughs> So what we thought we'd do is we'd do our favourite buys under £20, although I think most of mine are a bit cheaper. I think most of them are about 10 And so what I thought I would do is I would do makeup on my channel and then you can go straight over to Ruth's channel and you can look at skincare. Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to start? Start. I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start. Uh, I'm completely obsessed with this and I'm going to give you that because it's not my Thank colour. Thank you. I would, do you know what? I wish you'd said this before I did my brows and then I could have done this live. This Can is L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist. <gasps> good brow. And that's the reason it's good, right? Feel my eyebrows. It does set a bit sort of... You can feel it's it. Stiff. It's stiff. It's stiff, right? That's okay. good, isn't it? And the reason I like it is because it's tiny, it's reasonably priced, and it has the most minuscule spoolie. Yeah, that's and good. And the, the spoolie's slightly angled, which I presume follows on from the, one of the products that you're about to show that I love, the mascara that they've got. And it's a very dry, quite thick sort of gel that sets quite hard and it stays plain place all day. It's quite hard to remove. It's good, right? I have just gone over the boy brow. Oh, I think it's so much better. And than yeah, brow. it's, I, I like it. It's, I think you- Is it your color? Cause they gave me all three and actually I'm the medium brown. I feel like it's made them even better. I'm gonna have to come back to you on this one. I'm gonna have to try it on virgin brows. Okay, all right. I used it this morning and I've been using the brunette, even though I'm not a brunette, I wouldn't use the really dark that one. That's not more your colour. No, I quite like a bit of extra because I haven't got much, I haven't got a lot of brows, no. right? So I sort of paint the ends in as well. So I like a little bit of extra colour. <laughs> Dean, what is that bit? No, don't. That's going to be one that? of my products as well. That's my dropped Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder, which is embarrassing. I've got a proper picture of a new one before, I've got a proper picture of this one before I dropped it. Are we gonna comp that into the video? When you hold it it's like that, you're gonna- It's embarrassing, I'm sorry, but I'm not throwing it away, it's so good. No. Can I just say, that is the best new So how much is this, do we know? for ages, oh, I think it's 10 pounds. It's not even 10 pounds. Brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. It's such a great product, it's just hit counter. Yeah, it's my favorite brow, brow product. This is gonna be really L'Oreal heavy, because have you seen what I'm- Well, <laughs> okay, so show them this, because okay. I think this was created by Val Garland, and this is what I mean, it's got the bent spoolie. Yeah. Look. And this one, you can bend the wand, and it means you can get in to do those corner lashes. I really like this, this is the Unlimited Mascara. I feature this all the time. Do you ever bore yourself? You know when you've got a real favorite, and it goes into about eight different videos and you hear yourself saying the product name again and you think, oh. Some of the products that are gonna come up, followers are gonna go, oh, Not really? again. Well, um, yes, yeah, so I have got a mascara. Um, when I filmed with Jo, she was talking about false lash effect blue primer and it made me dig out my false lash effect mascara. What's the blue primer? So the blue primer is, is a really- Is this No, it's Max Factor and it's a bright blue, very similar brush and you put it on, which actually it's like a deep navy blue. Yeah. And the idea is, you know with white primers, if you don't cover them properly. They look weird. You can see them, it looks yeah. really weird. But with blue, it's quite nice to see a little bit of blue through. Yeah. It's I really like nice. Yeah. It's so really this is nice. Frost Lash Effect Max Factor. Yes. Can I have a little? You may, let me just clean this off. It's quite, quite, a, rigid, rigid, quite a rigid wand. It's a rigid one, but it's a rubbery widget. <laughs> It's a rubbery, a rubbery widget wand. <laughs> rigid wand. I liked rubbery widget wand. Better. Yes, so it's a bit me too. sort of um, Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Wass. Hmm. 
Now, Jo was saying that she finds the wand quite large and quite difficult to I use. Found, yeah, I find that with a lot of Max Factor ones, actually. You know, you sort of find your groove with mascaras, don't you? And brands tend to have their one that because they... Because that one's much more flexible. Look at that. And tapered at the end, the L'Oreal one. Yeah. Can't comment on that because I've already got mascara on it. <laughs> I've just realised that I've just been here just sort of I, trying it on over the top of my fully done mascara. I really like it and actually I've got the blue primer and I'll give you the primer. Because <gasps> I do love me, a flexible primer. Look at that, like oh, flexi, flexi. But that's fairly, well, look, that's fairly flexible. Yeah, I suppose so. But I'm never I like gonna, a rubber brush. I don't think I'm ever going to push that hard against my lashes to get it to flex okay. like that. Whereas that look, you, you just would, touch it that one. Yeah. I like a rubber brush. I don't like a traditional um, Christmas fir tree brush, and I think that's really nice. You know, some of the really expensive mascaras, the brushes are massive, yeah. aren't they? And on my lashes, it just goes straight on my eyelid. Yeah. That's it. I just can't. I can't get close. Um, and also, the thing with the more expensive the make the mascara, it's not that it's any better. I think that it's got more juice in it, so it lasts for longer. But the problem is, it has to go through that awful teething stage at the beginning, where if you look at a professional makeup artist work with a really expensive mascara, they take it out and they wipe it off, mm. which obviously if you've paid for, you've paid like 40 quid for a mascara, you would never do. So I feel like cheaper mascaras deliver the right amount straight away, but run out more quickly. Yeah. Less juice in them. You know what we should do? A proper sort of sci half scientific study. Really, Professor? Yeah, so on one eye you use your expensive one. Yes. And the other eye you use your high street one. And then you see which one runs out first. <laughs> that got really uninteresting really quickly, didn't it? I was thinking I'm going to make this interesting. Well, do you know it's this really... experiment, but it's impossible. Well, do you know it's really interesting because I have been testing a whole host of new mascaras recently. And I've just noticed that the cheaper they are, the more they run out. I had an Avon one, which I really liked. Was it in the mini dildo packaging? I don't remember a mini dildo coming in. Like it looks like it's got no, it's rounded gold. top. It has got a round... No, it's no, it's gold. It's the not, five oh, in one. Not distillery. And it, oh no, not that. No, distillery. It's five in one, and I'm, I'm not kidding you. It ran out within two months, and I think that's really shocking. I don't know. I would be alright with two months. Really? It's like a fiver, ten quid. I got like Benefit and this and the L'Oreal one. How? Old, I mean, that lasts. Oh, I've that, that about, Yeah, <laughs> that lasts me about six months. I'm sure yeah. it's not hygienic, but it does. I think it's alright. Do you know what they all say about these sell by dates? I wouldn't share. My mascara. eyes. My yeah. I've just put that on. So will I get sort of eye cooties from you? Hopefully not. <laughs> Although you never know. Maybe I'll get a bit of glamour. Yeah. Go on, next one. Um, okay, so sticking with eye stuff, are you really hungry or is that no, your digestion? No, that's, we had lunch earlier. I'm really sorry, that's my stomach digesting my prawn and mango salad from Arts and Spencers. They can't hear it, I can, so I'll just keep pointing it out every time it sounds, happens. It's quite loud. I will point it out. Uh, Scandalise from Rimmel, but look what I did. <laughs> I tried to sharpen it with a sharpener that obviously oh, it's got to go no, in the bin. That's heartbreaking. But I saved it for this video because I knew that we were doing it. Well, so, so I've got a photograph of that. <laughs> yes. Oh, all the glamour. So this that is, is one of the best eyeshadow sticks I've ever used. They're about three quid. Scandalized 24 hour waterproof and in it's bad, bad girl, girl bronze. bronze. That is the shade that you should go for. I really wish I could demo it. Looks I like can't. a mouse has pooped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So oh, basically, good. I sharpened I'll take a still it. of it and we'll go tight. So yeah, I sharpened it with an inappropriate sharpener and it all has just fallen out of the middle. What a sharpener are you supposed to use with it? I have no idea and I need to write to them to ask them how the hell you're supposed to sharpen it because if it's just a Bobbi Brown one, which you'd think would be fine, wouldn't you? It doesn't roll up, look. No. But the actual... It's plastic. It's, it's not plastic. Wood. So how the hell are you ever supposed to sharpen that? It just broke, it just went and then it all fell out. So I do need to ask them. But you had been trying it until then and it was brilliant and it blended I had really never, well. Oh, it's amazing stuff. Right, bin. She's gonna scroll through that. We'll fast forward I'm this. I'm just looking at this. <laughs> so, I'm using an Elizabeth Arden double one and it's and it's worth brilliantly. Oh, for God's sake. Can I just say, I had to stop recording because I can't bear to fast forward through that. Uh, maybe I should just give her this. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. I've sharpened it. There's me slandering. Slandering scandalised. Being scandalous about scandalised. It's there right to the bottom. 
Ah, uh, okay. For three ninety nine. So Amazon. I used the Elizabeth Arden double M one, and it sharpened it. Now what I it just does. have to say I did have to do all that to get to it. It's only because you broke it. You probably dropped it. You know. So that. Look, you just draw it on, and then. I mean, really, I should have a brush. You know what it is? Smudge it out. You know what it is? It's essentially the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Yeah. But they really, really stay on well, these It's a two. gorgeous colour for you as mm. well. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to do this with my finger, but there we go. Really, really nice, really nice. And uh, it's not empty and it's absolutely fine. Just make sure you get the right uh, sharpener. I don't know, what was, what was different about your sharpener? I have no idea, so You weird. do have to push quite hard, it has to be quite sharp. I did and it just went crack, 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 crack. Maybe it was, maybe I broke the whole back of the plastic thing for you and you just sort of waltzed in as the hero and did the easy bit. Really nice, I really like that. Okay. Essentially they're like the Charlotte Tilbury ones, you need to clean the inside of that. And look, I've got it all over my hands now. That's the problem. Four hours later yes. on the same product. Well done, Rimmel. This is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> she takes back everything she ever said. I, I genuinely did think it had that much product in the whole pencil. No. I was like, what a waste. Well but done. you were prepared to even talk about it as one of your favourite products, even with that much in, but it hasn't, it's got that much in. Um, I need to go and clean my hands, but in the meantime, I'm going to talk about this, which Ruth has been taking the mickey out of, and that Amanda Lamb mentioned in a recent video. I really love this. This is Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder, which is the uber loose one. Now, this is embarrassing because I dropped it, right? But it shouldn't look like that. I'll drop in a picture of what it should look like when it's brand new because I got this one. And it's just the best translucent setting powder ever in the history of setting powders. Bar none. I've tried everyone else's. I've tried Rodeo, Makeup Forever, um, Benefits. It just doesn't look like powder when it goes on your skin. It's amazing. I'm using it with a really inappropriate brush, which is one of my <laughs> products to show. But, They're um, good, those little products, aren't yeah, they? I know. Little brushes. That is good. My followers already know this, so you talk about the brush instead then. Um, the brush is the Real Techniques, some, what is it even called? Look, I've got some. I'm going to show you what they look like in their packaging. These are the little minis. It's a tiny, them. brilliant for travelling with, and it just does the same as the full-size one. So you get all the head, none of the length or girth. <laughs> I mean, well, how do we feel about that, Nadine? I'm, well, I like a little bit of girth and a little bit of hair. Like both. Yeah. And a bit of head as well. I'm not that bothered about the length. There's so many ways we could go with this. Well, that's got a massive head. Look at that. Good God. That, and they are just brilliant because how it's often do you... out of proportion if that was a penis, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd be worried. It'd be like a... It'd be slightly... A baby holding an apple. <laughs> baby thumb holding an apple. Like a... It'd be a baby's arm holding a grapefruit. <laughs> um... But they're just brilliant because Sam and Nick are so clever. They're, they make amazing brushes and I use all of their full-size brushes, but you just can't get them in your makeup Look at the bag. Back. That's so clever. What's that one? So I've got the Mini Liquid Glow and what's this one? This is the full, Mini Powder. Full-size head. There you go, you see? Sam and Nick, they like full-size head I didn't know there was too. this one. How many of these have we got? Can I have one? Uh, I need this one. That's the only one gone. You can have it. Can I? Yeah. Thanks. There you go. And there's the glow one. They are just Ooh. brilliant. They're really good, really clever. Did these? I got these, these for Christmas from them. I was going to say they've got a little sort of tree yeah. hanging thing. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Do you use a glow one as well? No, haven't tried that one. I don't. Yeah, you go. Thanks. Somehow I've managed to lose Re those. You've regifted. I need it. to take pictures. Oh, my last go. thing. I can. Go on. Yeah, I can use with that brush. This is a L'Oreal Infallible um, Shaping Foundation Stick. And I use this all the time because it's a proper no mess on the go kind of. Is that what you put on earlier on before you made your face up? Yes. What's a shaping foundation stick? I have no idea. <laughs> it's just what they call it. Is it because if you used it in two different colours and you were in a proper Instagram, so. you would shape and shade with it? You would. A la Scott yeah. Barnes. They've, they have got, um, I think they've got other ones in the range like highlighters and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, I think that they're all sticks that you go okay. and, and then blend it all together. Stick yeah. foundations always scare the hell out of me because they're really heavy. This one is not heavy at all. I'd say this is a medium coverage. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, look. No, your coverage is no heavier than mine and I've no. got a cosmetic CC cream on. So, um, so I, I, think that I find that quite heavy. Really? Mm. Well, I mean that quite full, you know, not heavy, but yeah, full. it's good for filming. Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, it's probably actually it's probably yeah. about the same. But I, it's non, it's non greasy. It doesn't slide everywhere. It just okay. sets. So no, it's a it's really nice finish. Did you powder yeah. it afterwards or not? I've just used your okay thingy powder. So that's my last thing. Uh, that's about ten quid. Might be slightly more. Okay. 
And then uh, I got these out because we're going to do some IGTVs with an Ask Us Anything. Um, and I'll tag that here. We're going to do one on my channel and one on Ruth's channel. And somebody asked me what my favourite lipsticks were. And I realised MAC lipsticks are just amazing. <laughs> and I've got a million of them all in different colours. What are they? 16 quid? 17? Yeah. 16. And I just really... And I like the cream shimmer lipsticks. Yes. They're just really beautiful. I don't like a matte lipstick. Perfect halfway through. Haven't you done five now then? Yeah. The important thing when you follow Ruth and I is don't follow us for our math skills. What any skills. Did you get your maths GCSE? Yeah. I, star. Oh, I, I've i never had to take any additional um, tutorials, tutoring, but I had to do additional tutoring to get my maths, as it was in my days, O level. O level. Because you couldn't get into university without an O level and I needed it. And my dad used to come home. My dad was super smart. My dad used to come home from school and drill it into me with a slide rule and stuff like that. Anyway, still can't add up not beauty physically. products. Not I know, of course not. Worship the ground I walked on. Uh, right, that's it. That's our favorite current eight, relatively budget, but we think we've gone way under 20 pounds. Makeup eyes go over to Ruth's channel and we're going, now going to do skincare, yeah? Yeah, I go on over. I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to be talking about some of our favorite products from the same brand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank yeah. You. yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Remember, always come to me for any sort of eyebrow, eye pencil <sighs> sharpening advice because that's my expertise, not maths. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Go over to her channel. Watch that. <laughs> Bye.